tutorial we will cover generating terrain in Unity with Gaia's Stamper, the different operation types available in the Stamper, and effects that you can apply to the terrain such as smoothing, terracing, and erosion. We will also cover the file formats used so you can generate your own stamps. Gaia Manager can be accessed from the menu Windows, Procedural Worlds, Gaia, Show Gaia Manager, or by using the keyboard shortcut Control G. Click the plus symbol to expand the world size rollout. This is where we can determine the size of the terrain in our scene. We're going to use the medium setting and create a terrain that is 1024 meters squared. Click the plus symbol to expand the target platform quality rollout. This is where we can determine the mesh and map resolution of the terrain in our scene. These settings are optimal for mobile devices. We will use desktop for this tutorial. Click create terrain. Notice that the terrain has been created in the editor and we have advanced to the second section of the manager. Click Create Tools. Notice in the hierarchy we have some new objects, the Session Manager, Biome and Stamper. The Stamper is already selected. We can use the Stamp Browser to navigate through our library of stamps. Select Mountain. Click the arrows to browse the stamps. You can see the stamper is generating a preview in the editor. This can be turned on and off via the purple button in the inspector. Click Apply. We can reposition the stamp, scale the stamp until we have the desired effect. Note the transparent blue plane this indicates the water level. Anything below this plane will be underwater. Set the sea level with this slider. To access the stamp browser again, click Stamps. Select Hills and select 4K Hills 1. The 4K prefix denotes the resolution of the stamp. Remember our terrain height map resolution is 2K so we have plenty of detail to use this stamp as a base. Position the stamp so that we have a little bit of terrain underwater. Click Stamp. The terrain has now taken on the topology of the stamp. Again, in the Stamp Browser, select Mountain and 2K Mountain 1. Notice that the preview is spilling over the edges of the terrain. Click Fit to Terrain. Raise the stamp. In the preview we can see that only the area above the existing terrain is active. Change the operation type from Raise Height to Set Height. This will override any previous stamping operations and set the height to the current stamp. If you want to change the last operation, use the Undo located above the Stamp button. Set the operation type to Mix Height. Set Mix Midpoint to 0. When we move the stamp we can see that the underlying terrain is mixed in with the new stamp. Set the Mix Height Strength to 60 and click Stamp. Turn off the preview to see the result of the last operation. Turn Preview on. In the Stamp Browser, select Island and browse to 2K Island 3. Move the stamp to a new area of the terrain. Change the operation type to Subtract. And Stamp. Let's try some effects. Set the operation type to Effect, Pro Contrast. Click Fit to Terrain. Set the feature size to around 30 and the strength to 3. Click Stamp and turn off Preview.
To smooth down the peak of this mountain, we'll set the operation type to smooth and add a mask so that we only affect the targeted area. Turn on preview, click the plus symbol to add a mask. There are many options. We will use a distance mask. We can scale the stamper to reduce the affected area. Or we can use the distance mask curve. Open the curve editor, modify your curve to get a sharper fall off. Double click to add points. Select all of the points, right click and select flat for the tangent type. Click the cog in the bottom left to save the curve as a preset. Now use the offset sliders to position the area of effect. We can use our strength transform curve to reduce the overall effect. Stamp. Turn off preview and inspect your work. You can add your own stamps to Gaia by placing a height map file in the Stamps Custom directory. In the Project window, navigate to Assets, Procedural Worlds, Gaia, Stamps, Custom. And simply drag and drop your 32-bit EXR file into the directory. Launch the stamp browser. Select Custom. You can see your height map is now active in the stamper. 